In this video, we are going to learn the relationship between the degree and the radian. Uh, for that, uh, suppose I'm going to make a circle here. Uh, let me suppose this is my circle, and it has. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming it has uh, the radius about this much. Okay, I just assume this. All right, this may be exactly or may not be. Uh, now, let me give this point the name this is a center actually so O and this is suppose A so OA is my radius and of length R and uh, what I'm doing now I'm again measuring this OA length and I'm making equivalent length here so equivalent arc I'm going to cut here so this length from from this, uh, let me give that name. This point is P. From point P, I'm talking, all right. From point P to A, all right. This length, let's suppose, is equal with R. I'm supposing, okay. So this OA is equal with now AP. In that case, again, now I'm going to uh, connect these two things. All right. So after this, the angle formed here, the angle here I've got, is called one radian. Keep in mind, when the radius is r, and if I'm uh, making the arc equivalent to the radius radius, all right. So here arc AP is equal with OA. Keep in mind, that time the angle made in the center is called one radian. Okay. So now I'm um, what I'm doing. I'm extending this line AO till B. Okay, I extended this. So now my angle has been bigger even now. This time my angle will be uh, from here to here. And I have since this is a straight line. So what I can say this is 180 degree. All right, or two right angle triangles. So uh, here I'm telling just. Uh, uh, that uh, and what we had learned in the uh, previous uh, time that uh, the angle is directly proportional to the arc angle is directly proportional to the arc so when I have the angle AOP that is proportional with arc AP all right what is our angle? That is our one degree radian, right? And when we have angle A uh, AOB, all right? When we have angle AOB, that will be proportional to the arc APB, all right? Arc APB. I'm talking about this much arc, all right? When we have the angle. A O B, A O B. So A O B angle is proportional to the arc A P B, and angle A O P is proportional to the arc A P. So uh, if we combine this together, then we can remove this proportionality, and what we can say that angle A O P over angle A O B, all right, is equal with now arc A P over arc. A P B. Okay, so uh, let's put the values now. What is angle A O P? Angle A O P is one degree radian. I already told you one radian. And what is angle A O B? We know that this is 180 degree. All right, this is 180 degree. And let's go this side again. What is A P? What's now A P? This is equivalent to radius. And what is APB? This is half semicircle, you know, or you can say half circumference. And complete circumference is how much? Complete circumference is our 2 pi r. So circumference, it's half only. It's not complete. It's just half. So I'll divide by 2 and I'll get pi r. So it is just pi r. And now what I'm going to get, I think you got it, right? This r and r can be cancelled. So from here, what I can say, one degree equals to 180 degree. Say one radian is equal with 180 degree divided by pi. 
this is the relationship between the one radian and uh, a degree right so from here what you can see that pi radian because pi times 1 so it will be pi radian equals to 180 degree from this relationship you can easily convert radians into the degree and degrees into the radians now pi radian equals to 180 degree so if I'm saying what is pi by 3 radian means then what I will do now see what I, how, 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 how I'm going to convert pi by 3 radian into the degree how much it is okay so I got the relationship and on the same relationship I'm going to do all right see here so pi uh, set pi radian equals to 180 degree all right so one radian will be from here 180 over pi radian uh, 180 over pi degree all right 180 over pi degree so pi over 3 radian will be 180 over pi see 1 1 means very small means this much degree so pi by 3 it's very big so we need to multiply this again so pi over 3 radian pi and pi cancel 180 over 3 so 3 times 6 uh, uh, 18 and then 0 60 all right so we got it, it's not radian it's degree 60 degree so this is how we convert it pi by 3 radian means 60 degree and now suppose I'm con converting 120 degree into the radian okay so what radian it is so again uh, what do we have? We have that 180 degree equals to pi radian. So 1 degree equals to pi over 180 radian. So what about 120 degree? So 120 degree equals to again pi over uh, 180 into 120 radian. So again now from 60 we can cancel this. 60 times 2, 60 times 3. So we got 2 pi over 3 radian all right 2 pi over 3 radian so 120 degree equals to 2 pi by 3 radian this is how we need to convert you know so this is a very good relationship use this relationship to convert from uh, radian to de uh, degree or degree to radian okay we'll be doing more examples that will give you more uh, uh, concept to convert and to get more uh, easiness in solving uh, this kind of problem okay if there is any problem or any uh, in difficulties while understanding my explanation then please feel free to comment or message me I'll try to improve myself okay and uh, please subscribe the channel that would be really appreciated goodbye